Hi, it's Richard Moore from Racing Profits Guides and we're up here at James Gibbons Yard and we've just bumped into Freddie Tulitsky so we thought we'd have a chat with Freddie a bit about himself and also the courses he rides around the country. Uh, we'll have a look at some of the all-weather courses and then we'll go on to a couple of turf courses as well. All right, Freddie, how are you doing? Very well, thanks for having me. No, no problem at all. Uh, so let's talk a bit about your history, Freddie. What brought you into racing? Uh, I was born into it. My father was a multiple champion jockey in Germany. All right. So yeah. from a young age I knew what the game was all about and how hard it can be and lifestyle wise and uh, yeah um, you know from a young age I knew I was going to be a jockey so um, I always worked towards it. Yeah yeah and where did you uh, start your training? Started training in Ireland with mm -hmm. Dermot Weld. I right, spent yeah. three years there uh, served a couple of years of my apprenticeship with him uh, but I also done my school at the same time mm -hmm. and um, as you know um, German is my my first language yeah, English yeah. was my second then yeah, yeah. and I finished off my school in Ireland at St. Patrick's Community College all right and I then went on to uh, Mr. Bulger yeah. and spent a further three years with him yeah and then you, did you come over to this country after that then I did indeed yes yeah, yeah. and uh, ever since I joined the UK things have just developed nicely for me I, I turned um, champion apprentice in 2009 right so okay. um, I was delighted with that. And were you with uh, Richard Fahey at the time? I was indeed, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, he provided me with a lot of winners mm -hmm. and uh, I was riding for a lot of trainers and rode a 71 winners that year so it, oh, it was wow. a great, Good great amount of winners. And you've only ever ridden the flat have you or have you done some jumps racing in your time? No, just on the flat. Just on the flat. And you obviously now you ride for a, a variety of trainers. Who are the, some of the trainers you ride for now? Yeah, um, I've got good tank contacts up north and down south mm -hmm. and uh, I do a lot of traveling um, you know I ride all over the country mm -hmm. uh, I've been kept very busy my agent Richard Hale does a great job for me yeah, yeah. so I'm, I'm delighted to, with the way things are going for me this year yeah yeah and who are the main trainers that you'd ride for at the moment then uh, I ride a lot for John Jenkins and yeah. um, get a few rides of Clive Britton and that mm -hmm. and from there on you know I've got a variety of trainers I ride for so yeah. so you I'm don't delighted. you don't mind being freelance then and riding for a few people no, it's a, for me it's a good position to be in at the moment. Mm. Um, I'm available to everyone that wants me and obviously to the trainers that provide me with the most winners, you know. Brilliant. Right, Freddie, let's talk a bit about uh, some of the all-weather tracks then. Let's start with Southall, um, obviously our local track here. Um, Fibre sand, is it very different, do you think, to the poly track surfaces of the other three courses? It is, yeah. You know, like you said, it's a different surface. So uh, some horses adapt to it and others don't, mm. especially with the kickback around Southern. Um, mm. You tend to um, get horses there that don't appreciate it whatsoever because it obviously hurts them and, and you know, mm. they can't see an awful lot afterwards. But uh, it, it affects the, the type of horse you'd really want for Suttle is a horse that is very quick within his stride mm. and uh, straight travels. Straight out of the stalls then. Yeah, yeah. It's very straight out of the stalls and yeah, it's yeah. quick into his stride and, and keeps on going for you. Mm -hmm. So usually there's not many uh, hard luck stories around Suttle. Mm. The fittest horse wins. Yeah, yeah. And that's the depth of the sand because that varies really with the weather conditions as well, does it? Do you find it, it rides quicker in the... Yeah, wet. it, it yeah. does. Yeah, indeed. Yes, I mean the more the more rain it, it goes on it, you know, obviously the tighter the sand gets, mm. so the, the quicker it gets. But uh, usually, um, you know, it's it's always a fair track, and and the best horse wins on the day. Mm. And I know in in the summer they do water it, but do you still think it rides a lot deeper? Do you when it gets dried out a bit? Um, obviously it's not ideal when it is when you have a few dry days you mm. know then it needs a lot of watering but um, yeah like you said you know other days it rides quicker than than, than you know some mm. other days so. mm. and the uh, the sprint course is the only all weather to have the straight five furlongs isn't it in the country so what do you uh, look for when you're riding a sprint race there would you be trying to get again positive position straight out the stalls or do you look for a, a lower stall position are you to be honest, I'll be looking for a quick horse. <laughs> quick horse, yeah. Um, no, look, um, the straight five at Suttle, you, you, you sort of, you have to jump and go. Yeah. There's not much holding on there. Um, you know, the, the horses go fast and furious there. Mm -hmm. So ideally, you'd want to come up the middle of the track. Mm. And they say, you know, the best ground's in the middle because the tractor keeps on going around it twice yeah. with the roller, you know. Yeah. So, um, so are you looking for that sort of strip where the tractor's wheels have been and things like that? You or? could call it the, the, the golden highway, mm -hmm. to be honest. You know, um, if you do get it and if you do hit it right with the horse, then 
you keeps pretty you much unbeatable, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. And uh, that's the straight five. Then we've got obviously the six and the seven. Uh, the six, you're nearly straight into a bend, are you, when you come out of there? Yeah, that can be quite tricky sometimes, especially when you're drawn uh, with high or low. It depends, again, on how you, your horse jumps out of the gates. Mm. Uh, if you're drawn low, then you, you want to be quick on your feet in a way. If you're drawn high, you also want to be quick away and to get that good posse. But um, so you can get across, can you, if you are, if you've got a fast enough horse out of the stalls, exactly. You, you know, still get across. If you have a fast enough horse, it'll take you there. Mm -hmm. It'll take you into the race, and then you travel away nicely. Mm -hmm. As you know, it's a it's a long sweep and bend. Mm -hmm. um, usually, the race is decided. Um, as soon as you turn in for home, you know? Mm, yeah, so it's a long, like you say, sweeping left-handed bends at both ends. Do you find them very f easy bends to negotiate then? Is it a nice galloping track or...? To be honest, in my opinion, Suttle is, is the best all-weather all track here in Britain. Mm. Um, you know, because simply, it, it, I mean, there's no real hard luck stories there. No. And uh, horse-wise, you know, horses can handle it no problem really going mm. around the bend. The only thing about it is the kickback there. Yeah. You know, some horses. Just explain to the people who are watching the video what the kickback is, because I know we refer to it a lot, assuming people know, but it is the actual sand being kicked up, is it? In the yeah, it's the actual sand being kicked up from, from the pack in front of you, mm. if there's horses in front of you. And obviously the sand flies up quite high, mm. Um, mm. Uh, and, and if, if Suttle rides a bit slower, then obviously the sand is looser, so it'll Get fly up even more, in. you know? Mm. And um, horses don't like it really, and I can assure you jockeys don't like it either. <laughs> I've seen them come back into it afterwards and they're just covered in it, aren't you? Exactly, yeah. And so do you think that um, the course is really a horses for courses type course? I mean, I know it, we all say horses for courses, but I think Southerly is a very particular horse does well there and is it because of the kickback some take to it some just don't like it yeah I think you know um, as a punter I would say if you, if you follow horses forms and that you can see which horses are doing well around there mm. especially the, by their breeding and that mm. um, and you know you put one and one together usually you know the horses that go well around it they go well all winter yeah yeah. You know what I mean? They, they'd win two, three times mm. till the handicapper grabs hold of them and then it'll take a while for them to come down again. But um, that's really how Suttle works for them. And we talk about the breeds there. Do you think what US breads or are you looking for a horse that's uh, well, out of a certain sire? It's a variety really, you know. Mm. Sometimes you think, oh, this horse w won't really uh, uh, go on the ground or what have you um, because it wants fast ground. But you can have fast ground horses on turf winning at Suttle mm. and also horses that appreciate it given the ground. Yeah. So there's no r real rules to it, you know no, what I mean? No. Because I know Dubai destinations do well there, don't they? They, they seem do, to do yeah, very they, well they, there. Exactly. You know, but any, anything American bred really does well around it. You know? Yeah, yeah. I know James as well. James's yard. He's got um, was it Kung Hai Fat Choi? He did very well there. U.S. bred, wasn't he? Yeah. So um, let's talk a bit about the more distance races there. Then they go up, I think, to two miles. Is it the furthest yeah. trip that they'll have at Southern? And how would you ride a two-mile race around Southern? Um, again, you know, you don't want to be too far behind the leaders. Mm. Um, simply because you, you just go the same speed the whole way around on a horse that stays the trip and um, yeah um, there's not much riding too subtle if you no. know what I mean uh, I'm, I'm trying to explain it to you as, as <laughs> yeah, well yeah. as I can but yeah. no, that's fine. You, 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 you jump and go really around it and yeah. you don't really ride much of a race you know so that's, it's, it's the only all track about position, really. Is it yeah. really it's all about jumping out and getting a good posse early on and you hold that posse for the whole way around you know yeah yeah so there's no real draw bias we discussed that earlier you think just get on the middle of the track as you're finishing the race off is that where you try and aim for as you come around that last bend yeah I mean if you follow the good you know the good jockeys you know ryan moore's been there this year and um you know all, all the other big lads go there you know mm. because they have to and everyone comes up the middle so yeah i yeah. suppose they're doing something right yeah yeah they must be and it's quite a long finish straight is it there um it is yeah um two and a half uh, long so well so. no it's it's three and a bit you know is it yeah yeah so, so well nearly nearly three yeah, you know yeah, yeah. so anyways um you don't if, you, if you're on a horse that doesn't really like it in front then you don't want to hit it too you don't want to hit the front too soon, you know?